Hello, this is Dev Team Paxton. Today we're going to be setting up functions for our mission so that they can be predefined throughout our project. We can use them anywhere. Also, they will be pre-compiled before missions start. So we're going to start in the description.ext and we're going to call the class CFG functions. Open bracket, semicolon end of the bracket, and we are going to include a directory and a file which we are going to create. Do that, uh, hashtag include the, the folder name which is going to be functions, backslash, and then the file name which is going to be functions.hpp. Uh, these names can be whatever you, you create up here, but they obviously have got to match no semicolon at the end. If you put a semicolon at the end uh, it's not going to work. So we need to create this directory. It is going we call it we called it functions and then inside functions we're going to create a file called functions.hpp. Now this uh, class, I start with the what tag I'm going to use, which is PAX. That's, that's what I use for all my functions. Uh, you're, you can come up with your own. Uh, typically, there are three digits. Uh, Bohemia has its own, which is biz. These are always pre-compiled on mission. These, are, these can be used anywhere in your project. They're already configured. Um, this is a document here in the wiki. I'm a three CFG functions. Uh, they have a, a lot of them. Apparently they enjoy making them. Uh, that one has no example. <laughs> it looks like they all need examples. But anyway, you can view these inside the editor. Maybe a, a video I'll show you how to. Or maybe I'll do that in this video. Alright, let's get back to what we were doing. Class, open bracket, close bracket. We are going to want a, our tag, which my tag is going to be PAX, and it's going to, I'll use, I use which folder it is in, I'm not sure if that is best practices or how it has to be, I'm not sure, but this is always how I've done it, I just done classes, functions, and then inside here, we are going to tell which directory it is in, which has got to equal functions, semicolon, and then here you're going to list all of your functions as classes, which we are going to create a player spawn. Oops, I can spell. Open bracket, close bracket, and in here you can do description. You don't have to, but I might just go ahead and do it while I'm at it. Description equals uh, this is let's call it join in progress. Nope, let's do this is not join in progress spawn. Let's just call it this is player spawn. I believe there's got to be a semicolon there. Alright, so now let's create this. And anything here, this is going to be looking in this director, directory for SQFs that start with FN underscore and then the name of the class, which is player spawn. So it's going to be FN underscore player spawn dot SQF. Alright. And we are going to have one parameter and a local variable. I cannot type player. So player is going to equal the first parameter that is passed into, actually the only parameter that is passed into this function. You could, this param is the same as doing this 
select zero. Uh, with param, you can also have uh, default. So if the in the expected data type can be put in here as well, um, so that if it's incorrect, if something is incorrectly put into there, it can you can save your script and save your mission from throwing errors or failing, depending on what you want to do. I'm just going to use it as a, it's the default preamp zero. And so this is going to define the first parameter that is passed into this as player. And let's just do something simple. Let's remove all weapons from the player. Make sure we got this set up right. We got our player player spawn function and then our description ext so then so now this function here is available throughout the project let's just go here let's go if if it's not joining in progress so if the player is joining the same time the mission starts we are going to call packs your tag and it's going to be fnc and then the name of the function and it takes one parameter so we want to pass the player into it and the player is unit this is like zero this file here I already went over it once but it, this the engine automatically calls it and it passes in two parameters which is the player itself and whether it is joined in progress or not so we should be good to go let's give it a try go ahead and launch our server let's give it a second to get started here Should be there. Uh oh, it is me wrong. HPP. All right. See, so something's wrong with your description ext. It causes it to crash. You know what, I think something's wrong with that. I can look at other projects and find out, but let's just leave it like that. Just use everything default. Um, let's start it again. Sorry for the delay. Ah, uh, semicolon, semicolon. I'm gonna wait for that. Let me look at something. This is a mod I was working on, and I did not put any descriptions in those either. All right, let's see if our server's up. It is. Functions, functions not found. Why? Why, 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 why? Spell it right, spell it right. Oh, I'm an idiot. 
normally creates that for me all the way. Yeah, okay, done. Normally, I'm used to um, when I'm coding that when I put a quote, it puts one up there automatically for me. For some reason, then the .ext is not, but whatever. That was a stupid, stupid mistake. I'll probably just leave that in there. Or leave that in the video. Why not? See if we, we should have no weapons. There you have it. No weapons. That was not going in progress. So if you were joined while the mission started, you should spawn in with your weapon. And there you see it works. And there's a board. I'm going to show you something here. What you can do with functions, another benefit that it gives you. We'll go into the editor. I wasn't planning on doing this, but while I'm at it, I will. You can go to the function viewer, and this is all of biz functions. And it gives you the parameters, what it returns. We haven't gone over returning parameters, returning values from functions yet, but we will get into that but you can look into them here and if we were to go into see if any of these missions I have any functions defined um, let's see if this one has one no, I don't think it is Oops. but if you have any functions defined they will be up here you can uh, you can view your own scripts and this word description will show up and all that but anyway that is it for this video and we will continue on with this later have a good day